Hello, this is Cisco Instructor Andrea, and I'm going to be continuing my video tutorials. Today we are going to talk about network addressing and how to find a network address. In past videos, we have covered Boolean, uh, how to find a decimal to a binary, binary to decimal, the importance of octets, the ever important subnet masks, and this video we're going to bring it all together and see how these things work together in order for us to find the network address. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is converting a decimal IP address, a given decimal IP address into its binary and we're also going to convert its subnet mask to the binary and we will be doing a boolean uh, a boolean calculation of those two values in order to determine the network address. If you have questions about how to convert decimal to binary, binary to decimal, or boolean, see one of my earlier tutorials. So again, right here we're going to start with 192.168.1.25 and it's a slash 24. The slash 24 is the prefix length, the way that we're representing the subnet mask. So if I convert this address into its binary equivalent, the 192 in octet 1, we've got the 11000000. Octet number 2 is the 168, and here I've got that value in binary. In octet 3, I'm going to convert the number 1 into its binary equivalent. And in octet 4, I'm going to convert 25 into its binary equivalent. With the subnet mask of 24 ones, you may remember that means that the first 24 bits are turned on. That is the subnet mask. So I've got 8 bits turned on, another 8 bits to equal 16, and another 8 bits for 24. There's 32 bits in an IPv4 address, so the remaining bits are off. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Boolean calculation, which is anding two values. I'm going to and the two values so that I could come up with the final value. Let's take a look here. So if I'm doing Boolean with the 1 and I'm looking and comparing it to this one, a 1 and a 1 will equal a 1. A 1 and a 1 will equal a 1. If I have two non-similar or non-matching values, the 0 and the 1, it's going to be a 0. 0 and a 1, a 0. 0 and a 1, a 0. So we're going to do that all the way through. We're in octet 2 now. 1 and a 1 is a 1. 0, 1, 0, a 1 and a 1 is a 1, so we're just doing that all the way through. What happens when we get down here to octet number 4 where I have a 0 and a 0? If I'm looking and I've got a 0 and a 0, I'm going to keep it as a 0. A 0 and a 0 will be a 0. A 0 and a 0 will be a 0, and so forth. So I now have a result because I have booleaned my IPv4 binary bits with my subnet mask bits. Now if you remember, the subnet mask tells us what portion of an address is the network. So in this example, I know that wherever the ones are in the subnet mask, the corresponding bits in my final product is the network piece of this address. So again, I'm going to see right here, this is going to be in the network. Wherever there's a 1, these values are going to be in the network. So everything in between my fingers is part of the network address for this IPv4 address. Now I just have to convert it back to decimals. So this 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is 192. I look at octet number 2. I convert the binary back to its decimal equivalent, which is 168. I look at octet number 3. I convert the binary value to its decimal equivalent. I look at octet number 4 and I convert the binary to its decimal equivalent. I now know the network address for this IPv4. The network address will be 192.168.1.0 
slash 24. This IP address belongs to that network, similar to a zip code. I might live in the 85034 zip code, and so I know that if I see that address, it belongs to that zip code. My next door neighbor will have a different address, but will still have the same zip code. A house that's three doors down will have the same zip code, but it will be three doors down and have a different address. That is what a network address does. The great thing, once we have figured out the network address, there are many other important addresses that I will be able to figure out from there. I will be able to figure out the first usable address, the last usable address, and the broadcast, and the range of addresses that will be available for this entire network. We're gonna do that in a later video. Let's go ahead and do an example using another IPv4 address and the same subnet mask and determine the network address. What we're looking at now is 192.168.1.12 slash 24. To make this easier, we're going to use uh, this table. So I'm just going to bring my values here, 192, 168, 1, dot 12. And so if I have a subnet mask of 24, I know that I have 24 ones all in a row that are on. And so I know that 24 matches up to 255, 255, 255, dot zero. If in doubt, you can count it out. So let me go ahead and do this subnet mask. I know that with a 24, I'm going to have my first eight bits on, my second octet, all those bits will be on, so I now have 16 bits on, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The rest are all off. This is my subnet mask. Let's go ahead and convert my IPv4 address to its binary equivalent. 168 and then 1 so I know that everything is off oops 0 1 and a 12 again if you need a refresher on the binary to decimal or decimal to binary look at one of my other videos now I just need to do the boolean or the and process to figure out what my network address is 1 and 1 I know that's going to give me a 1 1 and 1 gives me a 1, a 0 and a 1 is a 0, a 0 and a 1 is a 0. So I'm just looking at all of these and I'm doing a boolean. 1 and a 1 is a 1. I'm going to show you a little shortcut in a couple of examples here. Just doing the boolean. Okay, so you can look at all of these. 0, 0. These are all going to be zeros. Okay, so now what's important is where are the subnet mask bits? Because wherever there's a subnet mask bit, I know that that portion of this resulting address is part of the network address. So here's where my last subnet bit is. So I know that everything over here is part of the network, right? Everything from this point on is the network. So what's my value? If I look at this octet first, I have a 192. I look at the second octet, that value is 168. The third octet is a 1. And what are these bits over here? These bits are host bits. They're just host bits. They're not part of the network. So there I've got my network address, 192.168. Dot one dot zero and it is a slash 24. So that is my first example where we found the network address of a slash 24 subnet mask. You can keep watching if you want to see additional examples. Okay, let's do another example. 
This time we're going to do 192.168.160.128 with a slash 16. We know that the slash 16 represents the subnet mask. I'm going to go ahead and put these values here just to make it a little bit easier so I can see it. My subnet mask is a 16, so what do I know? I know that it's a 255, 255, 0, 0. So I have 16 bits that are on. I like to do this. So there's 8 subnet bits. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this 16 matches this. The rest are all off. For my subnet mask. Again, I know whenever they're all on, that equals 255. Because I'm adding up the positional values. So remember, this position equals 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. If you add those all up, that equals 255. I do the same thing here, that equals 255. So let's go ahead, let's convert my 192 into binary. Let's convert my 168 into binary. 160 into binary. 128 into binary. Okay, let me show you a little shortcut. So wherever the subnet mask has a one, Right? I know that every value, every bit, wherever there's a one is going to be part of the network address because the ones in the subnet mask dictate what is going to be part of the network address. So whenever I have a 255, I automatically know this whole value is part of the network address. So I don't even need to do Boolean here now because I've learned this shortcut and I know that if it's a 255, every single bit is going to be part of the network address. Okay, So let's go ahead and go over here. Another shortcut is wherever there's a zero, the Boolean value is always going to be zero. So that means it's not going to be part of the network address. So because these are all zeros, I know that 160 will not be part of the network address, so I can just do a zero. I can do the zero and the 128. Again, I'm more or less doing Boolean with these larger numbers. If Because this is a zero, I know that the 128 will not be part of the network address. So I've now just figured out what network this IP address belongs to, and this IP address belongs to 192.168. One six, oops, ooh, I almost messed up. One nine two, one six eight, zero dot zero slash sixteen. Okay. I'm going to do another example. This time we're going to do the slash eight subnet mask. So my IP address is ten, 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 twenty four slash eight. Let's write this down. This is my IP address. I have a slash 8. So I know that with my subnet mask, I've got 8 bits that are on. I know that if all 8 bits in this octet are on, it's a 255. Everything else is 0. So let's do the shortcut, and then we'll prove ourselves and make sure it works. 255 means that this will be part of the network address. 0 means this will not be part of the network address. I've got another zero, so this will also not be part of the network address. Another zero, this will not be part of the network address. So here I've got a network address of 10.0.0.0 slash 8. So I've got a lot of hosts, a lot, a lot of hosts. Let's do the binary. Let's prove ourselves right or wrong. Oops, zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 zero. And then I've got a 24. Subnet mask. All of these are zeros. Okay, if I do the Boolean, we know that we're just comparing. I'm just going through here and I'm doing the Boolean. 
we're proving our numbers. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0 is 0. See where I'm going with this, right? Okay, so my subnet mask is wherever the ones are, right? So I know that this is what's part of my network address, and this value is 10. Everything over here, these are all hosts. They're hosts bits or host bits. So I don't really care about them when it comes to the network address. So I've got 10.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 eight. Shortcut worked. You can stop now or I'm gonna have another section where I'm gonna do a few more examples and we're actually gonna look at a little bit harder stuff. What we've done so far is subnet masks that end on the octet boundary, the eight, the 16, and the 24. The next examples that I do are gonna be subnet masks that end somewhere in the middle of an octet. They can be a little tricky. The next examples that I'm going to do are going to be of subnet masks that are of a variable length. They don't land on the octet boundary of 8, 16, or 24. So we're going to do this 192, 160, 160, 40 with a subnet mask of two of 27. So I know this is 255, 255, 255. And I happen to know that the slash 27 is a 224. I know that just through practicing a lot. So there's 16, 24, 25, 26, 27. So when I add 128 plus 64 plus 32, I get a subnet mask value in this fourth octet of 224. I'm going to put my IPv4 address into the bina binary format. I'm actually going to use the shortcut too, just because I want you to see how fast this can be. Uh, let's see, actually, here we go. So I know that 255 means that all of the bits in the subnet mask are on, which tells me all of the bits in the IPv4 address will be part of the network. The 255 tells me that all of the 160 is in the network. So really where we've got to figure it out is in this fourth octet. So we're going to do Boolean in the fourth octet. 0 and 1 is a 0, 0 and a 1 is a 0, 1 and a 1, I know that's on. The rest is off. So if I look to see where the last subnet bit is on, it's right here, this 1. So I know that anything from there over is part of my network address. Now I just need to figure out what is this value. These bits over here are all host bits. So I'm just looking right here. The 128 is off, the 64 is off, but the 32 is on. So the last value in my network address is a 32. So this network address is 192.160.160.32 slash 27. So this IPv4 address belongs to this network. I'm going to do another example. This example is address 172.160.127.32 slash 22. So 172.160.127.32. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the binary. 127 and 32. The subnet mask is a slash 22, so I know that the last subnet mask bit is going to end up in the third octet. I know the first octet, those are all on, 8 bits are on, 16 bits. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23 and 24 are off, and everything in the fourth octet is off. So I know that when everything is on, I have a 255. Five. Everything in octet two is on, it's a 255. Five. So here in my third octet, if I add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus eight plus four, I have a 252. Everything in the last octet is off. So let's do the shortcut to figure out the easy ones. So I know since I have a 255, every bit in the subnet mask is on, which tells me every bit in the first octet is going to be part of the network address. The second octet, every bit in the subnet mask is on, so I know that every bit in octet two is going to be on. Octet number three, ah, oh, there's a little variation there, so let me leave it to last. I have a zero in the fourth octet, so I know everything in the fourth octet is off. So I just need to look at the third octet. If I do Boolean, a zero and a one in is, is a zero. I have a one and a one, a one and a one, a one and a one. Now I just need to figure out what this value, what this decimal value will be. Where is my last network bit? My last network bit is right here. So if I look at everything to the left of the pink line, I know that all of this is network. These are all hosts, so I'm not gonna worry about them right now. So I know that everything in here is going to be part of my network address. So I just need to figure out what is this value? What is it when I add 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4? Well, this value is going to be 124. So here we have figured out the third octet. So my network address is 172.160.124.0 slash 22. So this is the network address that this IPv4 address belongs to. I'm gonna do a couple more examples. This example is the IPv4 address of 10.160.27.32, and it is a slash 14. I'm gonna carry my values into my helper table. Okay, so convert to the binary. And the 32. Now for the subnet mask, I know that I have 14 bits on in the subnet mask. So here's my first eight bits. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 and 16 are off, and all of these are off. And so what do I have for my subnet mask? When all these bits are on, I have a 255. Five. Now in this particular octet, my second octet, that's where the change is happening. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4, that's going to be 252. I can see that in the third octet, all the subnet mask bits are off, so same in the fourth octet, they're all off. So let's use the shortcut to figure out as much of the network address as we can. Because I have the 255, I know that every subnet mask bit is on, which means that every bit in the first octet is part of the network address, so the 10 will be part of the network address. The 252, let's come back to that one because I've got the variable length, so I've got the change here in the subnet mask, uh, the second octet. But with a zero, I know that everything will be off. Same in the fourth octet, a zero, everything will be off. So now all I have to do to figure out the network address is look at this second octet. Let's do Boolean. One and a one is a one, zero and a one, one and a one, zero and a one, zero. Uh, okay, so we've got it. So now all I need to do is ask myself, well, where is the last subnet 
bit, the last subnet mask bit is right here. So if I draw a line, I know that everything to the left is part of the network. Everything to the right of that last bit is part of the hosts. So now I just figure out the value here. So the 128 is on, the 64 is off, but the 32 is on and the rest are off. So 128 plus 32 is 160. Remember, all of these bits don't matter for what we're trying to figure out. They're all the host bits. So I now know that this is a 160. So my network address is 10.160.0.0 slash 14. So this IPv4 address belongs to this network. Thank you for watching my tutorial on network addressing and how to find the network address. Remember, practice is what makes perfect and it will help you get faster and faster.